Um, but it's true. My premise is very simple. And that is that I believe that every single child should have an opportunity to feel good about him or herself. That every child, regardless of race, creed, or gender, should feel safe and secure simply to be, to be beautiful, to be proud, and to be progressively successful. I believe that no matter where we find ourselves in the world, that opportunities to be who we are should be limitless. That most parents, no matter where, we, where they exist in the world, want to provide for their children an environment conducive for growth. To be happy, to be healthy, to be educated, to be functional human beings prepared to participate in the mainstream economy. And if there are injustices that exist anywhere in the world that prevent anyone's opportunity to reach his or her highest goal, then we must understand that it is indeed our collective responsibility to ensure that those goals <laughs> can be fulfilled. Are you with me? Okay, because see, we just had this lovely dinner, and I shared with them, you know, I've, I've you know, advised over the years that if you want to be an effective speaker, if you want to be passionate in all these things, that you do not eat before you speak, <laughs> okay? Because you come on stage and, you know, you really want to get into it, but you just can't. You want to go and go to sleep and, you know, think about the dinner that you just had. But I am really very happy to be here. It's my first time in San Antonio, so I'm going to try and really be effective and really give you my message because I am very, very passionate about that. Um, one of the things that I requested when I came was to have a uh, hotel room with a view. And, and I came from New York, and in New York I live on the 27th floor. And, um, you know, <coughs> I, I don't know, I don't even remember what, I think I'm on like the fifth floor. But it is a great view, I have to admit, it is a great view. Um, and I did get to see some of San Antonio at the dinner that we, see, that we had. But, um, oftentimes,